Hey guys, I wanted to talk about the weight loss drug space really quick. So Novo Nordisk, Eli Lilly, Viking Therapeutics, and Hims and Hers, those are some of the main players. Hims and Hers obviously has the health and wellness platform where they offer these weight loss drugs, the GLP-1 compounded conversion. You can think of it as like generic, a generic drug, okay? And I see a special for it for 99 bucks, guys, okay? So that's hard for Eli Lilly, Novo Nordisk, right? Viking Therapeutics to compete with that pricing. So as long as Hims and Hers is able to provide these cheap costs, it's going to affect Eli Lilly, Novo Nordisk, and Viking Therapeutics because they're going to have to lower their prices to comp compete a little bit more, okay? Even though they have the legit version, right? And Hims and Hers is the knockoff version or compounded GLP-1, it's still, they're gonna have to bring prices down and that's gonna affect their profit margins. So I wouldn't be buying the stock. I know there's more potential with, you know, Eli Lilly, for example, getting into the Alzheimer's space and there's other areas, so I get that. But you just have to know a lot of this is priced in and if their profit margins are going to take a hit, then the stock price will go down, you know, after earnings. So that's the way I look at it. So not a bad idea to ring the register, sell some. Hopefully you're playing with house money by now with how much these have ripped higher, okay? And then you can always, again, raise your stop limit if you're short-term trading it, right? But if you're long-term, I still think they'll be okay super long-term. But like I said, after a huge pop, this could be a consolidation period with competition heating up in the space. And there's also other companies that may have a weight loss drug, you know, two to three years from now. So it's only gonna intensify, you know, over time.